Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to part 12 of The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. So when we left off, I introduced you guys to Luna. These two are always hugging. They're like the best of friends. Seriously, brother and sister relationship goals. Um, if I had a brother <laughs> or sister. Um, <laughs> so they met Luna, who moved across the street. We learned all about Luna, and that was a lot of fun for me. And you guys seem to really love Luna, so I'm excited about that. Um, but now we're back with the, I guess you could call them the main household, I suppose. Um, they're all eating these cupcakes made by Patrick. He is going to make them all so fat, but that's okay, because big is beautiful. Um, <laughs> what am I even talking about? Okay, so technically, Trevor and Lauren are supposed to work today, um, but they haven't gone yet. All right, so they work in like a few minutes here, but I'm actually going to quickly, quickly have Tess get a job to bring in extra money because just because they have the store together doesn't mean that they can't bring in some extra money. Now, I don't know about Patrick. I kind of want to keep him around and just have him bake and, like all day and <laughs> just have Tess get a job. And I think that um, it will be good. And I'm going to get her a job in the writing mm -hmm. career because she is an aspiring writer and she's had like one, two, two books so far, I think. So... Definitely, I think that would be the career for her. And I've actually never had a sim in the writer career before, I don't believe. So, get paid to express your ideas with beautiful turns of phrase and words. Wonderful words. Career branches are author and journalist. So, she would be in the author branch for sure. Uh, so, she's going to start as a writer's assistant, making 25 smolians an hour, which is not bad. Not bad. And she works 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. And she has off on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So, yeah. And she needs to read books for her job. So, um, yeah. I mean, she wants to be a best-selling author anyway. So, it would kind of make sense if she was in the writing career, you know, instead of just writing books. This way, she'll be able to bring in more money because they are always so broke. And I want to upgrade this house. I have so many ideas for this house. Like, it is amazing. Like, I... I, I really, I really want to upgrade this house. <laughs> I have so many ideas and I can't afford any of them. And for some reason it says that they don't work for another 12 hours. So I don't understand why they don't have to work today. But, but what else? Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and have her, let's see, read books. Well then, did she ever make her book? Um, let me see. Notebook, write, excuse note. She can write an excuse note for someone to like miss work and stuff. That's funny. Um, <laughs> all right. Household, they can go on vacation. Of course they can't because they don't have no money. They could move, um, let's see. Purchase books. All right, now, I'm just curious how much these books cost, like children's books. Uh, Game of Groans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. How about skill building? How about it? Uh, they do... The baking... Why are the baking books so high? <laughs> like, what makes them so expensive? Do you know what I'm saying? We could get some cooking books. For skillness and... St for skillness? Skillness. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, she could get a writing book. Um you know what, we're going to splurge for her and we're going to get her writing volume one. So yeah. So there, thanks for ordering the books in her inventory. Awesome. Don't lose it because that was expensive. A $75 book? Oh my gosh. When like, I got like all the Hunger Games books for under that much. Okay, so that is crazy. Like what the heck, man? What is this bookstore? Where is it and how can I avoid it? Um. <laughs> anyways, I think... A, when did it become 9 p.m.? Oh, was it actually 8 p.m. this whole time? I was reading 8 a.m. at the bottom. <gasps> I'm just that friggin' smart, guys. I was wondering why they weren't going to work. <laughs> oh, my God. I am not editing that out either. Like, I'm going to leave that in there so you guys know just how... <laughs> 
<laughs> how human I am, how stupid I am, okay? Okay, anyways, um, I was going to say I think a good um, kind of skill for Lauren to build would be the wellness skill. Now, this is a skill that came with the spa day. Um, I almost said expansion, but game pack uh, that came out um, recently. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much a yoga mat is. Okay, a little pricey, but not too bad. And I really love this one. I think that suits her. So, you know, she can just come in yoga under the stars and maybe she'll get abducted in the process. I mean, you never know. You know, you never know. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and have her come out here and do a she could do some different poses she could do a let's do a brain boosting routine and just see what this does because i'm curious beautiful she acquired the wellness skill i just think you know she's a doctor so she could be a little like a little bit of a health nut and just want to you know work out and instead of doing it in the usual way she can just do yoga i'm actually really want to start doing yoga i think taking a yoga class would be a lot of fun so fun fact i'm i'm interested um <laughs> all right and let's see she needs to pee so badly but um can you go repair some stuff here because um that's kind of what you're here for trevor it's kind of what you're here for thank you very much and you can mop it up, too, because why not? Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and have Trevor just head to bed. Um, He works tomorrow, and Lauren does not. So I'm thinking we could probably go with Trevor, because um, he needs to go on patrol to get promoted. So I think we're going to go take him on patrol. Hello. Hi. Hello. And, um, and yeah, just see if he can get promoted and all of that as far as the store goes like Tess and uh Tess and Patrick's store I just feel like they need a lot more money to make it how I want it because <laughs> I want it I have like I said I have so many visions for how I want the house to look how I want the store to look um and I just feel like they need a lot more money to do that so I'm going to try to bring in some extra simoleons and stuff um like here we'll sell this there you go Oh, yeah, 76 simoleons. She's going to have a bunch of skills here. She's feeling inspired, so I'm going to have her paint a large painting. Hopefully, it will pay off. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and have her head to sleep as well. I'm just going to have Lauren stay up and paint, pretty much. She doesn't have work tomorrow, so I'm not, I'm not worried about it. And I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so here we are the next day with Trevor at work. First things first, he needs to eat because he is a hungry, hungry boy. He's going to go have a pre-made meal. And he wants to kiss someone. We need to get him, you know, finding some finding some ladies. Um, maybe he can finally hit it off with the chief that he's been trying to hit it off with. A lot of you are already shipping him and Luna, which I kind of am too. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. I kind of, I don't know. I just get like this... I don't know, get like the vibe that they would be really good together, but I'm not going to pursue that right away because, you know, what fun is that? Um, so, yeah, I, he's he's still kind of, he's not going to settle down with anyone. Like he's, you know, not right now anyways. <laughs> so we need to like work on getting him some, some action. So I think we're going to pop into the chief and say what's up. Hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Um, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Talking to the chief with our plate, because why not? Alright, discussing case theories. Uh, yeah, let's try like be her friend, you know, like, discuss fitness techniques, and uh, uh, complain about work is probably not a good idea. And uh, yeah, so discuss our interests. All right, and let's see if we can discuss a case and uh, get to know her a little bit. So we'll improve our relationship with the chief. What is her actual name, Cameron? I call her the chief. He learned that she is good. Well, that's good. Praise her work ethic. Yes. Yes. Uh, deep conversation. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Be funny. Everybody loves that. 
Let's tell a funny story. We will discuss case theories. Again, no, we'll do something different. <laughs> we will uh, do an impression. Oh, Tess went to work. Hope she does well. All right, so we're starting to be friendly. Uh, let's go ahead and just flirt. Like, just flirt. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, you were so got shot down. Share your insecurities. <laughs> Yeah, be like, I'm really insecure, I'm supposed to be a ladies man, and I'm really, really bad at it. So, anyways, let's actually do what we're supposed to do, how about it? Um, alright, uh, can you get your move? Move? Just move? Move, get a case assignment. Quit talking to her. It's a waste of time, Trevor, it's a waste of time. Alright, he's gonna get his case assignment. And I, I'm mostly interested in going on parole. P parole. <laughs> I'm interested in going in, on parole because I'm in jail, yo. No, I'm what the heck. Am I patrol. Patrol. I'm not on parole, guys. I'm not on parole, I promise. Anyways, <laughs> this man is dying. Um, Chief Officer. Officer Randy Chadwick is dying. So, yeah, there's that. What what even? The Grim Reaper isn't even there. He's just dead. He's just dead body. Like, there's no Grim Reaper. There's literally just a dead body. On the- okay. Is anyone gonna take care of the dead body? O. M. G. Oh my god. Somebody take this dead guy! What the- what the heck? There's just literally a dead guy. Like, if you thought you were uncomfortable before, Trevor, let me tell you. Oh, he's sick. He's still sick? Oh my gosh. Cure illness with medicine. Well, I don't know what kind of medicine you want me to get you. I guess we have to order it. Well, you're gonna have to do this first. Add clues to the crime map. Work through your illness. And go ahead and uh, stay late because we always have to. There we go. No more dead body. That was weird. We'll just put him right here. He'll uh, forever watch over the microwave. <clears throat> and make sure that, you know, no one no one abuses their microwave privileges. So, um, <laughs> we need to uh, go on patrol is what we really need to do. I know it says travel to crime scene, but, like, we, we need to go on parole. But, oh my god, why do I keep saying that? I, I'm, okay, alright. It's, it's just one of those days, I, I guess, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> alright, so here we are at the crime scene. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, ooh, this house, though. This house is nice. Whose house is this? Let's go ahead and collect evidence sample, or actually take a picture of it. Take a picture. Collect evidence. Oh, this person's hiding in their bed crying about it. Oh my god, lady. Matilda Ritchie. You alright, girl? You okay? You alright? Alright. How many officers does it take to... I mean, really. Really, though. Um, yeah. Probably take care of this. Dust for fingerprints. Take a picture. Collect samples. Uh, there's something in here. All this graffiti. Someone broke her TV. OMG. Seriously. Alright, we need to talk to her. Take a witness report. Alrighty. Of How did... Okay. You are literally... She is literally <laughs> at the bottom of everything. Sylvia. She's literally always the center like, of everything. I feel like she's the one that did it. I really do. Did you get a report from her yet? Alright. Now let's go ahead and have you return to the police station. And, uh, yeah. And then you can go on patrol because that's what we really need to do for you to get, um, promoted. So, that's what I'm, I'm gonna be working on. Alrighty, guys. So, we are officially on patrol. What the, what the heck? Okay, okay. We're doing stuff without even doing it. We're just so damn good at our jobs. That's, I mean, we really are. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Oh, we are at the uh, Spencer Kim Lewis house. They have a really nice house too. It's actually very nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, Willow Creek. Woo. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and chat with some civilians because that's what we need to do. We'll go ahead and chat to this little girl. Give her a friendly introduction. Hello, little girl. Yes, I know you're sick. We'll get you medicine when you go home. Spend two hours and issue citation. All right, little girl. <laughs> I'm going to give you a citation. No, we can't. Um, what else can we do? Uh, does she count as a civilian? Can we get to know her? Yes. <laughs> She's a goofball. That's adorable. All right. So where is where is the trouble happening? Like, is it going to happen right in front of this house? Because I don't see anything happening. I mean, this is just a little street. Oh, oh, she's going to do it. Kylie Coy. Kylie Coy. Are you going to be involved in it too? Both of you? Mailman. What? How is there even a mailman? There's there's no mailman in this game. And I don't have any mods that add mailmen. What the heck? <laughs> what? All right. So this is Kylie Coy. She's going to be our troublemaker. I can just tell already. If you even try to fight that little girl. Are you seriously going to fight this little girl? Seriously, do something. My shift is over soon. This little girl is like, don't even try nothing, lady. I swear, I will cut you. Um, Alright, she's going to come out. Maybe she'll fight your mom. I think this is her mom. I don't know. I've actually never played with the Spencer Kim Lewis family, so... What the heck? She's the one that looks angry. Excuse you. What the heck? Where are you going? What even? Oh, can you come over here? Ooh, okay. All right. So maybe it's happening over here. Ooh, Nancy Landgrab. She could be fighting. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> Literally the center of like every problem ever. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, get your butt over here. Get over here. The mailman. <laughs> She's just like walking on by. All right, you need to have a citation, young lady. Nancy Landgrab. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? And of course, Sylvia was involved because Sylvia's always involved. OMG! Nobody, everybody hates Sylvia. I'm telling you, Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, seriously. Seriously. Sylvia needs to, like, leave. <gasps> what is happening? What the heck? It's your citation. What the heck? You don't do that to a cop. Are you stupid? I should arrest you for assaulting a cop is what I should do. What the heck? We turned to the police station. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just what the heck? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, end of shift. You did a fantastic job. Okay. He's been promoted to corporal. He will now make an additional 10 simoleons per hour with a grand total of 38. That's actually really freaking good. He has also received the following bonus of a most modern cell towel rack, get with the gloss metal shelf, the lonely man's shelf, cold steel, stink man's wall bench, hard time mirror, solitary sleeper, 224 simoleons, the impenetrable, jaded cell depository, holy door of holding. Oh my gosh, we can sell all of that for money. That is the, literally the first thought that came in my mind was that we can sell all of that for money. So yes, hopefully we will actually have money in this household. Wouldn't that be like amazing, <laughs> amazing change of pace for this let's play, let's be honest. All right, so he's promoted to corporal. That's just awesome. Okay. Um, does he still have the same hours and such? Nine to six. Okay. Um, awesome. So he needs to interrogate more suspects, which that was like my favorite thing to do in the detective career. So okay. let me guess, you guys are going to hug. Seriously. <laughs> Weirdest brother sister relationship I have ever seen. Okay. Um, just because they actually get along. <laughs> um, but no, I wanted to check his inventory. Or I guess, would it be household inventory? Probably. I'm going to check the household inventory. See? Look. Oh my gosh. Look. We got, like, we can make our own jail cell. But I'd rather just get the money. You know? A bed, a mirror we don't need, a wall bench. Ha. Uh, a 
cold steel toilet, some shelving, towel rack. Not so blind. This must be from um, the doctor. Doctor Xavier Ray's display. That must be from. I can't think of her. Lauren. Jeez. Um, but we got money, guys. We got five thousand seven hundred seventy-four simoleons. Like that is awesome. <laughs> That's really awesome. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, guys. And I'm thinking in the next part, we will probably uh, do some stuff with the store because that's what I really want to upgrade the most right now. Um, the house, yes, it needs it desperately. But I feel like the store, I could, like, it would be do so much better if I could make the store look better and be able to raise the prices and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah. And, um... And yeah, so I'm thinking I'm also probably going to do makeovers in the next part. I just feel like um, maybe they should have have a little makeover. Like they've had the same look now for a while and they all age up in about eight days, um, which will go by fairly fast. And I want to start getting them, you know, settled down. Maybe we'll actually have Patrick get up the nerve <laughs> to ask Tess on a date. I think that would be a really good idea and just kind of move stuff along. Maybe they'll end up getting married and having babies. That would just be awesome. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this part. And if you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.